Hello, I am Corey, the owner of Fork and Fly. Come and travel and eat with me. Let's make some dinner. We're gonna make some barbecue pork rind chicken. First, what you'll need is chicken, your seasoning, sasson, onion powder, garlic powder, love garlic powder, black pepper. For the bind, you need one egg, some heavy cream. Cut your chicken up into pieces, bite-sized pieces. Take your chicken, place it back in the bowl to season. To season, we got our sasson. Season it to your liking. Onion powder. Garlic. Pepper. Give that a good mix. Here you have your bowl, crack an egg. Get some heavy cream. Eyeball it, like one fourth cup. Also season it. Since we're not letting the chicken marinate in the season. Take your chicken, pour your chicken into your heavy cream and egg mixture. And get it in there good. Put them in the air fryer. Look at this. Just like that. Place them right in the air fryer. This is what we're working with. Now we're gonna make some cauliflower macaroni and cheese. A bag of cauliflower, you pop this in the microwave, you're good to go. Your favorite cheeses, I got this Fiesta blend. This is Monterey Jack, cheddar, and queso in here. Some Velveeta, some cream cheese, some heavy cream, some butter, some garlic, pepper, and pink lemon. Pink cabinet. Himalayan pink salt. <laughs> when it comes to this, these are instructions on the back. This says put it in the microwave for about seven minutes. We're gonna put it in the microwave seven minutes with this side up. It's hard to see, but you see it. While you're waiting for that to cook, we're gonna put our boiler on, and we're gonna prepare our cheese. We are actually eyeballing everything, especially our sauce, because like I said, bacon is a science, cooking is... Damn, why can't you remember my own saying? <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna do two tablespoons of butter. You might need more later. Let that melt down. All this with a, mm, I would say a medium low heat. Tablespoon of cream cheese. Our Velveeta. All I have is a tablespoon of Velveeta left. Let that all cook down, not slowly, but cook down. You may, well, not you may, but breaking up the cheese, cream cheese and all that would be Best. 
but I'm doing it the lazy way. We don't want to add too much salt because the cheese has salt already. But the cauliflower, that's where you add the salt and pepper because cauliflower has a lot of water and it's going to absorb a lot of the salt, a lot of the seasoning, period. So you want to make sure this is really seasoned, your cheese sauce. Pepper, garlic. Yes, I had garlic in my macaroni and cheese. Okay. Add some handfuls of this mixed cheese. your heavy whipping cream. Let that cook down. Everything is melted. Taste it and see if it's what you like. Let it be a little extra because, like I said, when you add the cauliflower, whew, that's all gonna go away. Look at that. Oh, yes! Let me add a little bit of heavy cream. More. Now we're about to add our cauliflower to the mix. I'm avoiding an extra step because I'm about to put this in the oven under the boiler. I'm going to put this whole thing. If you don't have uh, a pan that has a metal handle, don't do it. If your handle's like this, don't do it. It'll melt. My whole pan is metal. Um, so if you don't have a metal pan, you'll do this step and then put it in a casserole dish and put it in the boiler. Let's take our cauliflower. I hit the cauliflower. Think about it. We'll see. Mix it up. Let everybody meet each other. Yeah, I'm gonna add another bag. While we wait for our other bag to microwave, we're gonna go look at our chicken. Woo! Let's look at one. Look at that. Now you know we gotta do a taste test.
really good. Mmm. 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 There we go. Okay. Now we got enough. The ratio is better. Like the big pieces, break them up. I don't like big pieces. Cook this all together. Make sure each piece of cauliflower is covered in this delicious cheese sauce that you made. Woo. Now you can just leave it like this and let it sit for like five minutes and then eat, but we're gonna add more to it. Look at that, well, let me try a piece. Ooh, look at that. Oh, shoot. It's screaming. Let's try it. Mm. Yo, that is good. Now we're going to top it with some more cheese. Pop this in the oven, let it bubble and boil. Get it nice and brown on the top, and dinner's ready. Make sure when you take it out, you have a glove. <laughs> Let's get this bad boy. Got my big oven mitt on. Look at this. Whoo, look at that. Gotta take a picture with my thing. Let's dish it out. Plate some of our cauliflower mac and cheese on this bad boy. We gonna put some of our chicken right on top. Chicken and pork rinds. AKA barbecue chicken pork rind. Yes. Have it like that. And then we're gonna sprinkle some parsley right on it. And voila. There we have it. Let's try this bad boy. Got a little bit of the bubbly cheese. Gonna get a piece of chicken with the cauliflower. Let's see. Mmm. You heard that crunch? Keto, baby. Keto. Mm. Let's do one more. Look at this. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. So good. 
the macaroni and, well, the cauliflower mac and cheese, or however you want to say it, it's like creamy. Mm. And it's seasoned. You think you're eating macaroni and cheese? And the barbecue chicken, pork rind, or whatever. Next time I might leave it at strips, but I like the little pieces because I can eat it with the cauliflower. Mmm. Mmm. Here goes another nice and bubbly part. Wait, let me turn it around. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. So good. Y'all better keto warm. This is an improv meal. Cause like I said, I was fasting. Oh, 5.45. I, start, I started eating. I was fasting. Let me put it on, see how long I fast for. You don't need nothing else. Cause you got your fats in here, you got your proteins in here, you got your veggies in here. You got your snack in here if you want to say it too, the pork rinds. <laughs> I don't know how people don't like mac and cheese, cauliflower, or cauliflower macaroni and cheese. How do you say it? Cauliflower mac and cheese or mac and cheese cauliflower? Or cauliflower and cheese. Because it's not mac. Macaroni is the macaroni noodles. So. Mmm. I'll see you later. As always. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Like. Comment. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And leave a comment below. If you want to try this or if you did try it or just say what's up. Also, share with a friend. Share with a family member. I'll see you on the next video.